Ben, first of all, I've got to say a huge congratulations. Biggest, biggest fight yet. How are you feeling? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I have no words. I dreamt one day I'd become a pro. I dreamt one day I'd dream of winning as a pro. I did not think I'd get an opportunity for a belt, never mind being international champion. My sponsors, massive thank you for the funding. Obviously, the biggest thank you has to go to Chris. He works day in, day out. And I don't know the dedication he puts into me to make me who I am. Obviously, my family and friends, they're a big part of it. My fans that are here tonight. But the hard weight paid off, that's all I can say. Sorry I'm a bit emotional, like, but... Chris, what do you think to that? I just think um, it's one of the... <laughs> He can't bloody talk, neither can I. Uh, it's one of the moments that uh, Ben, I've known him for so many years now, probably near on, like, we're going into two decades now, and uh, been an amateur with me. Eh? His family has never been easy for him. He's, he's always been tainted with the wrong things. But And he's no angel, he hasn't been no angel growing up. But for the last, you know, God knows how many years now, he's dedicated to boxing. And I've always said to him, you keep going, you stay out of trouble, you do the right things, and the right things will come to you, and here he is. Do you know what I mean? He's got Ian John Lewis refereeing his know, title that's, that's fight. I mean, that's just own. immense on its own. It is. Do you know what I mean? Who else would you want? This guy's refereed everybody, and then you've got him refereeing Ben for his first title. It's, it's mind blowing. It is. It, I've watched him on him, TV. For him, so nice. For him and his family. It's, you know, his grand brings him to the gym every she, day. She, she like. She travels more than she, 100 she, miles a week. She picks him up, brings him up, brings him back every single day. Imagine the trips they're doing. And there is grand and granddad. They stood there. You know, love you. They're heroes, aren't they? Because yeah, my, my old time heroes. If he didn't have them, he didn't. I won't have anybody. You know, so he's got a good. He's got a good family around him. He's got a mad wife, mad missus. She's crazy. Yeah, she's mad. You know what I mean? But he's mad. So yeah. I'm just over the moon for him. That's. I don't really oh. care about anything else. But I'm over the no. moon for this guy. So well done to him. Well, thank Deserves you, it. Ian, what did you think to the fight? Obviously, being the one in the ring with. Them. Well, firstly, you've got to admire. This is what fighters do. They fight their little hearts out, they train their little hearts out, just like me back in the day, like you know, and if I'd have won this belt, that would have been the world to me, and I would have defended it with pride and honour. And that's what I told him, defend it with pride and honour. But firstly, like I said, that guy in there, he was obviously a former world-class operator, and you could see the way he was moving about, and I was thinking, oh my God, like you know. <laughs> you know, Ben's got a fight on his heart, he's got a fight on his hands here. But credit to him, all right, he just chin down, Determine what he obviously what he's trained, what he's going to do. He just come forward, ignored all the the flashy moves, all the flash stuff, and whatever you know, all that classy stuff, and just stuck to the basics and just kept on him, giving it in, unloading the body, unloading the head, and just kept the pressure on. And you got to remind him for that. Fantastic. I mean, I actually went to the corner, I think in the fourth round, and just said to him, "Listen, you're moving around, but you're not throwing no punches. You got to throw punches." He went, "Okay, I'll throw punches," you know. But like I said, full credit to Ben, he just stuck to his guns and just kept coming and just kept it basic. That's what a lot of people don't do, kept it basic. Well done, lad. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I just say, though, on that, it's like, it's, it's, you see a lot of this, this flashy stuff going on, don't you? Like Ian's just said, but, you know, Ian's been in game, I've read his book, he's been in game since he was about nine years old. I started boxing when I was eight year old and it was never flashy back then. Never done that. It was never, just the tidy stuff, weren't it? If you do the things right, do the things right, like Ian yes. says, and you'll always get the good results. But sometimes it's, it's overcomplicated and it's such a simple sport, isn't it? Yes. You know what I mean? So I think what Ian said summed it up for me. And such so a, like you say, it's all good having these flashy moves, but if you're not going to throw the punches, what's the point in having these moves in the first place? You don't win fights by looking good. It's all about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but well done, and, and like I said, now he's got it. I think it's going to take a really tough guy to get it off him. Nobody's taking this away. There you go. That's the attitude. This is my achievement. That's the attitude. Is it all I seen on sofa? <laughs> this is this is mine. I don't think you'll go sleep. No, I don't neither. I don't think I'll sleep for next week. <laughs> this is the, this is the great in boxing. I'm going to bath and everything. This is what boxing's all about. You know, this is just so great. I mean, this lad, look, he's dreamed about this. And now he's talked to you, he's talked to people, and he's got something to be proud of. Just like me when I was a 15-year-old boy, and I won my first amateur trophy, and I took it to school, because I, listen, I, I don't know Ben's background, but I had nothing, I come from nothing, right? And I took this to school, and I was so proud that I had something to yeah, boast about. Very, very much. And it's the same with Ben. Now, he's got something to, to, to be proud about and to show. 
Well done. Feels like I'm about to get back. Okay. That's right. <laughs> so obviously this is a pretty big achievement, but where to next? Next, uh, I'll speak for him because he, he won't he won't have no idea what he's doing next. I mean, next thing he's doing is getting drunk. Uh, but other than oh. that, September third, we're going to have a homecoming for Ben in Works of Penelope, and he'll defend that title in Works up in front of his hometown in his own place, and that's where it all starts for Ben, and that's where he'll do that defence. So September third, you heard it here first. That's when he's at next. Well, once again, big congratulations, Ben. So proud, so happy for you. Thank you. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your life oh, with that belt. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Maddie. No problem. And then media, Maddie.